Uh, hello everyone, I'm Puck and I'm gonna get my hair cut um, by Theo. I would like to get some length off and layers. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and we're gonna use, uh, use a toner on your hair because you yes. don't want to color your hair with color. permanent color. So yeah. can I make you a wonderful toner. Will you turn so that you can see your hair? Yeah. And Puck you can also find on YouTube because she models in the past. Thank you very much. I'm gonna do Puck's hair. Now she wants a layered hairstyle, not too much up, but certainly the dry ends. So I pin the hairs up, gotta make a lot of layering in the hair. Putting on protection of course. Don't mention red nails or red lips. <laughs> I really love lipstick because mm, when you don't kiss that much, you can be better use it on yourself. I really like the taste of it. And I don't even find it gummies. But you may give your opinion about that. It doesn't matter. I'm a tough guy so I can handle a lot. Take out the pins. Start by wetting the hair. Gonna use a new line of Lanza. It's a curly line. Because she has wavy hair, but it can make it really curly. So that's what I show you. Make photos of it, put it into the video. I tell you already that the shampoo doesn't uh, give a, a foam, so it's just not like going on, but it's a really good shampoo. Start by brushing the hairs, do this with the Olivia Garden brush. And also telling a lot of people, especially in, in Europe, because we have a lot of stress by working and uh, going to school, start by hair pulling. Because in winter time, the blood streams on the, the skull are not the best. So when you take a large amount of hairs and you pull on the hairs, you get more blood into the blood streams and you get better hair. So that's what I tell all my customers. It brings nothing. But they are happy, so that's the most important thing. Start layering. Layering I do to the front. Do it with a hot tool. Take the hairs over. Go in the opposite lines. Watch at the natural lines. And gently go down. Take a new line on it. Take it over the li line I just made. Every time take about a centimeter or two. It's almost an inch. Take it over. Watch again how the skull shapes are. Connecting all lines on that and work till I get behind the ear. This way I'm certain that I have all the dry ends off and I have a natural shape because I use her shapes into the line. Back, go to the opposite side, wetting in between. Now I just stand here, so it's the easiest way to do. Leuk dit wel. Ja. Het was ook tijd. Ja, leuk. Take the hairs over. Just the same as I did on her left side. Watch at the chin lines. Copy that into the line of cutting. Take again every time about a centimeter hair. 
laid in the beautiful roundness of the skull. Take it over, watch again at the chin lines. And again I work till I get all the line of the ears. Last part. Of the skull. Take the hairs over to the front, the left and the right. Take it to the center line and with the tip of my knife, gently wetting in between, turn a bit. Now you notice that I was coming from the center of the skull, so now I take the lines from ear to ear over the skull bone to the back of the ears. From the skull bone <laughs> to the skull bone. It's very dry, the ends. So I use the skull bone as guide. And I have also a guide because I already cut up the hair on top. So I take the hairs up, work them all to the top. Really fine to dry pots. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> yeah, a dazzled hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> so now you, this is the driest end. Buck is pissing her pants. <laughs> no, it's not. So I take the hairs to the center line. Take them up knowing where the length is because I can see some parts jumping out so I know where my length is, where I started go in with my hot knife and gently give it that roughness and lay it effect this I call the Christmas tree effect but they're also calling this the palm tree effect but I really recommend do this with a hot tool because otherwise you have dry ends again. So now I'm certain that I sealed the ends because this knife is 190 degrees Celsius. It's a tool of Ergo from the United States. Ask Ergo.com. So now I have a lot of layering but also the best hair. And it's connecting to the sides. Then I go to the skull bone. Part up hair aside. This is in parting over the center, also on the skull. Wet the hairs again, part the hairs aside. Take the hairs on the back, watch where the dry ends are. So I go about uh, 10 centimeters, I take off. That's about 3 inches. And that's about this. Take it to the side because I have a layered hairstyle. I have to get some rounding in it. Use the natural shapes of the hair. And I have just more and better hair. Take a new line on it. Part all the lines in the line. Of the chin lines again. Show you that also on your side. So take it up, pin it aside. Come it on the line of cutting. Take 
take every time about two centimeters here. Watch where the line of cutting is. Go in from beneath. So my guideline is always in the under lines. Dat is wel heerlijk als je deze punten eruit kwijt bent hoor. Ja, dat geloof ik. Dat Pff, dat ik denk, zo verschil. Je hebt er geen borstel doorheen. Nee, dat is echt een touw. Ja. The ends of her hair feel like rope, so now they are nice and soft. Feeling very feminine. I was almost at a point of just thinking I'll cut it myself. Yeah. Wait the clipper. Oh! Zou het zijn dat ze aan de pond dus doet. Ja. Nou, je ziet laatst wel veel die uh, filmpjes. <laughs> Wetting in between. Nou, je gaat dadelijk echt verschil zien nou, als je die, die Lanza producten ook, die zijn echt super mooi van jou. Hè? Now you can see the difference because I, I told you that I was I told you I was cutting on the guideline. So now here is the guideline. So this is the part that still has to be cut. But there you can see that the lines are correctly. And the same as of course on the other side. So again, take the hairs up, watch where the connection line is, it jumps out here. I'm working my way to the center line. Lay it back so you can see the line. Nicely falling. You can always correct it in the freehand style because it's a hot tool. The same on the other side. Take the hairs up, let them fall, go from beneath. Take a new line on it. Let the hairs fall on the guard line. Get some nice layering into the hairs. Watch the lines. You can see some thickness on the left side, so mostly some hair is on one side thicker than on the other side, so I correct it a little bit. There's more balance into there. Come to the front. Give the slide running to the back. Not too much, but a little bit. So I have a lot of layering into the hairs, but also a lot of volume afterwards because now I can really make volume. So now I can make a toner. I made her a color, I made a color of glint, I made her an A3, that's a golden blonde, with a copper 7.4. And this on a 3% base, so it's a 10 volume. 
So I don't want to damage the hair, I want only the best condition, but I want to get that also into the autumn colors. I don't want hard colors, because what the hair is not the thickest hair, it's nice to work with light colors. And this apply of course all over her hair. There's no ammonia in this product, it's a power beta free and just nursing the hairs. Okay, now all the color is on my hair. Close this. Give her some heat, because uh, not much, but a light heating with a, blow, a hair blower. And wait for 20 minutes, and then rinse it out. Show your photo of the products into the video, so you know which products I used. But don't go away, we'll be certainly back. Okay, after uh, 20 minutes heating with the dryer, I washed the hair out. Washed it with uh, the new shampoos of Lanza. You have a buttercream shampoo, especially for curly hair. And you have a conditioner, I used them both. And for styling, I take it. It's a curl flex. You use a small amount. Apply it on my hands, bring it on the hairs, and the smell of the products is really, really nice. It activates curly hair, but to give it even more activation and more curly effect, I come up, twist the hairs around, put her again under the dryer and try to give as much curly effect as I can on my hairs. It's a bit like we did water wave in the early days. But when you comb this out, you had a lot of curly effect. So now I have all of those things on my head. So now I come and put her under the dryer. I'll be back in a second. Okay, it's dry. Take out the clips. I take a large teeth comb. Comb it through the curly hair. What a curler. Super classic. Yeah, more, yeah. Top. I want a little bit more volume. I put a little bit dirty angel in it. Yeah. Do a little bit coming against, not too much. Just to get more volume on top. Ik denk dat ze zo. Ja, ja, ik heb, ja, ik heb, ik heb er meer. Ik, ik heb voor mij bijna elke variant naar honderd is, hè, maar.
Ik zelf ben meer van de Olivia Garden borst, want vind ik mooi. Maar ik heb mijn eerste Tangle teaser met schaapjes die we bij jou hebben gekocht nog steeds. Ja? Ja, ja ik heb ze ook nog altijd. Dit is I Take Golden All of Lanza. Ja, dit is echt te gek. This oil nurses the hair really nicely. Gives some softness to the curly effect. Add some shine to the hairs. But also when you could smell this. Yeah. This is the, <laughs> one of the most feminine smells there is in, in styling products and hair products. And the rest over this product, because you always have a rest over of this product, most customers have dry hands. So it's a healing oil. So I use it also as a healing oil. And I ask them to give me the hands. So if they kiss me, because you can see they're still on it. <laughs> That's a cell phone where it doesn't matter. And glasses, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's... I always find it very hard to throw it away because good products you have to use. Take a little hairspray of Lanza. So this is the new hairstyle, new color of Puck. Thank you for being my model. Thank you for watching. She will turn around to show you the end result. And we see each other next video. Bye bye. Mooi kleur, hè? Thank you. Thank you, Theo. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Puck, and I'm gonna get my hair cut um, by Theo. I would like to get some length of and layers yeah okay <laughs> and we're going to use, use a toner on your hair because you don't yes. want to color your hair permanent me. color so yeah. can i make you a wonderful toner will you turn so that you can see your hair yeah and puck you can also find on youtube because she models